You're paying. You're a grown woman. You're paying for your. If I'm paying for your nails and they're 170 dollars every time, like yeah. this is crazy. Come on, every two three weeks is 170 dollars out of nowhere for some nails. Yeah. Just because you have your shit has a cell phone in it or some shit, like what the fuck is going on here? You sound like a broke dude. Oh, just say you're broke then. I mean, I right. said I said you, got... I said you sound like you're a broke dude. You, <laughs> you ain't you ain't you ain't willing to pay 170 dollars every couple of weeks for your girl's nails. So the fuck you gotta is... go to a nail like, technician. So hold on. May, are you are you may, you might not be ready to have a girl. Mm, you might be playing the wrong game. Yo, my nigga, you have uh, almost three hundred fifty dollars in nail uh, budget for the month for your shorty. That's what my shorty wants. <laughs> Gotta work hard. <laughs> Gotta work hard. Gotta get these nails done, these toes, this hair. Yo, my shorty got to get nails done this week, yo. <sighs> Working on a river. Damn, you a simp? So if you if you if you have to work hard to to pay for is your girl's nails, you a simp? Is she also paying for your luxuries? I dig. Probably not. Okay, you're paying for your own luxuries. Of course, you a man's man. Uh, you're a man's man. You agree with that? So you yeah. pay for everything. Yeah, yeah. She pays yeah. for nothing. Pero no, y no me puede decir nada. She can't tell me nothing. You heard? I get home whenever time I get home, I do what the fuck I want. I pay for everything. That's what that comes with. <laughs> Shit, shit, yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, oh. Everybody yeah. feeling good? Everybody We're all feeling right? Feeling good, baby. Let's go. Welcome back to the Blunt Exchange. Woo! Episode 34, I can tell now because 34. Bleak has a jersey on. And when Bleak has a jersey on, the number usually has something to do with the episode. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm run, picking, Ricky, I'm, run. I'm picking up on trends. Check me out. Check me out. Let's go. Let's get it. I am your host, Aim Gunner. Welcome back to the Blunt Exchange. Like I said before, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to help grow our channel, get the algorithms up, and get us where we need to be so I can be driving something crazy. You got to get on our Dexter Jackson. We need that engagement, man. Press that button. Who's Dexter Jackson? Is that... Oh, my bad. Derek Jackson. Is that like Derek Jackson? Jackson. We can talk about some Derek Jackson shit, but first... Let's Let go. me introduce my esteemed colleagues. Mm-hmm. To the left, uh. I have the man, the myth, the Ooh. legend. Okay. The man, the myth, the legend, the one yeah. and only uh-huh. Crump. Yeah. AKA Crump uh. Diddy. You already know. AKA. Finally got a haircut, Crump. Oh. AKA I mean, Dexter. Gotta be able to make fun wow. of yourself. AKA Vibes, Serial Killer. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? AKA William H., the all time great. Yeah. Che- AKA oh. Paper Over People. Yeah. What's, what's, what's going on, Pop? Yeah, what's popping? What's popping? Oh, oh my God. That's Hello. How, but I just rolled up, though. That's yeah, how we started. So like. successful. So um, successful. I mean, I had doing? a good week. Good, good. I'm doing good. Finally been able to track down my barber. I don't know if y'all been saying anything, but you know what I mean? Was he kidnapped? Finally able to track down my barber. Was he with the I saw, I saw, my I saw, fucking hair. I saw it in the comments. Thing. They said, yo, listen, crap, go get a haircut. Yeah. Wow. I got a was haircut. He, was he with the aliens? Where the hell yo, was he? Yeah, man, he's been on the run. Fuck. Nori. Can't do this. Don't do that no Nori more. Nori with the cut. Stop doing that. Uh, how, hey, was how, week? how was the week? How's the week? How's the week? Week is good. Week is good. Anything you know going, uh, any, any near future plans? Uh, no, nah, no. Nah, How we rocking? How we giving it up? Um, the hard way every time. Wait, wait, what? Um, wait. Pause. Yeah, I'm chill, in. chill. What the um, fuck? pause if applicable. <laughs> applicable. Yes. Very, um, very applicable. Obli- uh, obligatory pause. Check the pause up. Yeah, but no, no, no. I had a good week. Uh, I'm chilling. Uh, looking forward to the weekend, you know. Uh, you know. Looking for some adventures to pop okay. off. I don't know. The, looking for some adventures? Nice. Or no, uh, adventures. What? Adventures. Okay, adventures. Uh, I thought you were looking Summer for the adventures. The, it's it's getting warmer Six in the north. You know I mean, days going a little longer. You dig? It's six o'clock we, we, and I can see sunlight. We yes. were on the way to the show and yeah. it was it was bright outside. I was like, is this a different way? Where we, yeah, where we, we going? We were going a different way to the it's, show. We're so. going a different way or something. I mean, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah. You already know. And to the right, I have. The man, uh, the myth, uh, the legend, uh, Pablo, Woo-wee. a.k.a. Mm. Bleak. 
a.k.a. Made by Pablo. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go. A.k.a. DJ Wave <laughs> Seal. <laughs> man, the Wave Seal mixes, man. They're going off. Thank yeah. you. The streets are talking. The Afro thank you. Is fire. The streets thank are you, talking. You. The streets are talking. Victory Smoke. Rocks. Check that out. SoundCloud. Oh. DJ Wavy Seal. You dig? You dig? AKA, I won't let no pussy Mm-mm. pass me. I got to smash it because I'm that guy. Hey. How them subscriptions looking, brother? Top 1%. Top one uh, percent content creators. You, gotta step it up, you can please. do better than that. I heard one percent is not fire anymore. What? It's got to be top. You got to be under one percent. You got to be under the one percent. Yeah. Got it. Five percent. I'm working on that. I need your help though. Ankles. Please. I heard they like ankles. Send this to me. Whoa! Another pause. Way. I heard the ladies like your ankles, so you should. Maybe. Oh, damn. All right. I'm going to start wearing you. these socks. That'll help you with your numbers. A, I got you. I'm going to start wearing these right, socks. Do you not know what ankles are? Sandals. Oh, open toe sandals. Open toe sandals. That, I'm bur- pulling up next week. Some nice sure. burks. Put the burks on the birkin. Let's go. Shorty wants birkin. Shorty Ooh. wants the birkin. You know what I mean? She got to copy the burks okay. first to start off the... Are you, are you still buying shorties of Bergen? You saw what happened to Sweetie. I know we'll get into it later. Oh, wow. You saw what happened to Sweetie. All, all, right, right, all, all, right, all, all right, let me finish. All them Bergens don't mean nothing. All right, hold on, Say hold no on, that hold back, on. girl. Right, let, me finish, let me finish it off before yeah, we get to that. And of course, and of course, I'm your host, Aim Gunner. Woo-wee! AK, <laughs> AKA Low Life, AKA Horsepower, 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 Horsepower. AKA Run. AKA A.K.A. Run. Gregory Hines, the great dance tap, legend. Tap, tap, tap. A.K.A. Moonwalker. Moonwalker. A.K.A. The Real Gunner. Hey. I love that color. And we are back. Good color. Good good choice of oh, color. Like it? Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to do a little thing. Yeah, you, you on your bass swag right Try now. Try to bring it out, baby. Size 54. You heard? You Tell me when to yeah. go. Tell me when run, to go. Run, Ricky, run. Tell me when to go. I'm, ooh, I'm, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh it could, could just be the San Francisco hat, but the black and orange got me feeling. Ooh, oh. tell me when to go, <laughs> go. Oh no, it was a bright. It was a bright day. I felt like you know, brighten it up a little bit. Brighten it up, baby. Let's I mean. go. And this beautiful background we have here at the Gallery uh, Art uh, Studio. Yeah, right? we got to make these colors. Gallery pop. Art Studio. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, and yeah. you know you gotta. You gotta, you know, take what you got. And, yeah, man. And, uh, shout do the out, best you can. Shout out, uh, Red in the studio. Shout out, uh, Left Engineering always. Yeah, man. I tell, I keep telling Left because sometimes we'll do the show and Left will be back there, you know, and he has some good shit to say. I keep telling him, you know, pull up, say some shit, man. Say but, some you know, shit. I, I guess we gonna wait for him to do his thing. It takes time. He, he'll, nah, sometimes he's I mean, there. He's he'll, he'll there. pull up for a reason. You know what I mean? But he's always here, so you know. Sometimes you hear some shit in the background. It's probably Left or uh, right. or uh, Brian. Yeah, you know. yeah. My bad. All right, guys. Yeah. It's word of the word day. Of Let's the just day. knock it out. Why not? Why not just knock it out real quick and do word of the day? Let's get word it. of the day. Word of the day. Word Let's of do the it. Day. Word of the day. Word of the day. Let's go, man. All right. Uh, word of the day higher today learning. is uh, higher learning. Of course. Word of the day today is once again sponsored by Crump Media Works. Crump Media Works. Take it. Take it home. Uh, take it away. Yeah. So today's word of the day. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls across the world across in the internet, world. YouTube land. And no Spotify, boys and girls. Uh, uh, as long women. as you're 18 Consent. and plus. Yeah, men and women. We don't we don't give this show is not for <laughs> boys and girls. It's for yeah. people 18. Today's word is demure. 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 Mm-hmm. Um it sounds familiar. Yeah. Do you know do you guys have any idea what uh, demure is? I'd like is? to hear it in a sentence. Normally she would have accepted the challenge, but she demurred. Hmm. She did not accept. She didn't want it. So what does demure, demure mean to you? She rejected it. I feel like demure is like something like reserved or like, like, um, uh, hmm. like when when somebody's like to themselves. That was a, that was a sentence of a verb. You want to hear it in a noun? The yes. noun is they accepted this ruling without demure. Oh, without hesitation, without any fight. Back. Without any fight back. It's like yeah. It's like uh. Submissive, yeah, like yeah. The, uh, she, the they agreed. Act, the definition of demure is um, the action or process of objecting to or hesitating over something. Oh, oh, hesitating over something. Okay. The action or, or process of objecting to or hesitating over that something. Is demure. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Okay. Or the, ver- the verb definition is raises doubts or objections raises to doubts, show yeah. reluctance. Demure. Yeah, raises doubts. Hmm. That's a good one, bro. Interesting. Got yeah. it today. So, that's a good one. Yeah, demure. 
Did y'all go use that later on? I feel like I know that word to mean something else completely, yeah. but I could oh, just we're be thinking about something confusing. different. Yeah, right. but, um, yeah, so yeah, what'd you say? Uh, Birkins, right? Birkins, Birkins, Birkins. Uh, so how do you guys feel about men wearing, uh, okay, man rule. Uh, man rule it, number one. Uh, uh, slippers and or sandals, no socks. Oh, shit. That's slippers or sandals, no socks, like, like slides? Damn, that's a good one. Slides or sandals? Yeah, I, I, prefer, I prefer to wear them with socks, but yeah, without socks is cool. For slides, I don't really wear slippers. Slides with no socks is cool? I mean, if I'm at the in beach. In the mall? I'm at the beach. No, no, no. At the no, beach, no. right? In the streets? In the streets, you need socks. Definitely. 100. But why? NYC streets, you need socks. You can't have your feet exposed to the. Why particles. can't you have your feet? You, you exposed. Know, I don't. I don't like yeah. feeling like them. Them. Them dirt particles that wind up building up. Like once you only you your, your toenails. Feet exposed, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a hygienic thing for you. Yeah, people don't even clean their toenails. Yeah. Imagine them walking okay. on the streets. <laughs> it's even harder. The streets are dirty. Street NYC streets is dirty. I'm wearing my socks, but okay. at the beach, open toes. I no, mean, who? No sandals. No. Who's nothing. the serial Nothing's killer there. that's wearing fucking socks and sandals at the beach? That's, Man, that's no, serial killer Those shit. people are. Man, uh, people those people that. are. Um, that's when you first. I mean, when you first those get people there, are at the beach with the uh, metal detectors. <laughs> like the people who wear socks with sandals at the yeah. beach, they, they, they have the metal detectors <laughs> and they're walking around trying to get, <laughs> trying to get know, money, trying yeah, to find gold, trying to find some some silver, some some lost coin from, from the Spanish. They probably find bad iPhones. Spanish coin they're trying yeah. to find. No, 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 not at the beach. But there are yeah. mad people that do wear it at the beach. Uh, yeah, let's let's get into whatever we want to get into, oh. guys. Man, it's bloody change. We just sit down and talk, man. We uh, have an agenda. Sweetie and Quavo breaking up. Yeah. Oh, breakups. There's a lot of breakups. breakups. There was a, there was a lot a of breakups in the rap game. There was a rumor that uh, he repoed the Bentley that he gave her. And, I mean, um, when you buy a shorty a, a very expensive gift and you break up like very soon after, like, what's that the back. rules on the gifts? Um, well, let's say, like, let's say, like you uh, you gave her, like you know. You started the, you put the down payment and you paid the first couple of months off on the crib. Okay, okay. And then you yeah, break up like three weeks later. Like, yeah, let me get my crib, yeah. Because okay. you were supposed to live there with her and all that, but now yeah. she, y'all don't live together no more. Yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I broke up. You got to take it to court. Are you going to let her keep that or? I mean, I mean, what, to pay the payments on it? Like, oh, you already oh, put oh, down oh, a like, down payment and you put down like oh, three like, months. Oh, pretty much buying a house and, uh, with a mortgage. I got and a you gave it to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and gave her the crib or yeah. told her. I mean, still in your name probably. I mean, I probably but. wouldn't have told her this is her crib. I'm t- I'd probably tell her she lived with me. If that's the case, if we're not married or something like that, you choice of words. Me. Yeah, like Gotta be okay. But for the scenario, you gave her the crib. Are you taking it back? Are you re? Are you re like, yeah, man, come on. Why would I buy you? I a would crib? say, uh, I, 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 I'm, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm selling the crib. We're, we're, we're selling the crib now, or I'm selling the crib. Or if yeah. you, you, you want to buy, if you want to buy it, you can buy me off. You can buy me out, and but um, mm-hmm. I just want my investment. Yeah, I want my investment back. Yeah, but um, you could already have the. You know, it's yeah. already I also saw that she said that. All the Birkins and stuff that he was, she was getting, didn't equate to her getting played out privately and stuff like that. And I see that there's a little uh, tiff between um, Quavo's uh, mm-hmm. sister and like mm-hmm. Sweetie's aunt, where they're like, mm-hmm. "Yo, Sweetie's not as nice as uh, yeah, she think y'all think she is." Mm-hmm. In, in I'm sure. I'm sure. Like I mean, huh, nobody is. Yeah, nobody. So is. She's real difficult. I see I'm the sure. internet going to Tizzy because uh, allegedly they thought that, uh, you know, the godfather, Kevin Samuels, uh, called us, uh, rated Sweetie a six. Oh, my God. An adjustable six. An adjustable six? Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's crazy. What is Sweetie to you? What do you rank Sweetie? Is she a six to you? <laughs> Shit. He also rings Beyonce at eight and, and Kelly, Ke- Rowland, Kelly and Rowland at nine. So that's like his. Kelly that's his bar. That's his bar. That's Kelly right. Rowland. Nobody's a nine. seven. Beyonce's an eight. What's wrong with yeah. Kelly Rowland? And then we have to take this What's wrong with Kelly Rowland? Please? Nothing saying. I'm not. Did I say something you wrong with Kelly Rowland? Cal- you made it say that that was No, no, no. Because Crump said that was his bar. What you just said right there, the what? way you said that, made yeah. it seem like what he thinks that that particular thought is insane. Is that insane? Who, sec- who, who looks better to who you? Looks Kelly, better? Kelly, Kelly Rowland? Beyonce looks better to me. Is it close? Not close. Not even close. What, like From one to ten, what would you give Kelly Rowland? Kelly Rowland from one to ten is a seven. And Beyonce is? It's a nine. Hmm. Two plus difference. What, yeah. do you, what do you uh But thinking? I don't get it. I mean, that's his personal too, right? Yeah, no, that's his, that's yeah, his yeah, personal yeah, opinion. That's your personal opinion. Yeah. I don't know the way he said, he said, uh, he, he, he said that she's, uh, he's, he said that um, nah, Sweetie said is, uh, oh, he said, sweet, yeah, he said Sweetie is very uh, put together with like the nails and the, the makeup eyelash, and all the, makeup, the fake shit. All she's like, but she's no, uh, no sweetie. Uh, sweetie. That's why he gives her a She's very regular. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. 
Unless he got photos does, that we didn't does see. Makeup, does makeup count as good looks to you? Like if a shorty could put it the fuck on her face, does that count as good looks? Yeah. Yes? I mean, it's yeah, not I, genetic. It's not going to pass down to your kids. It's not ugly without that makeup. I there's a difference between natural beauty and being able to... I'm Put asking you to up. you, does that count as beauty? If she can always No, it doesn't it count as beauty. If she it, can counts as, it counts oh, as she this. can look good. She can look good. She it doesn't count as beauty to me. Okay. I, I don't I really think that she looks just as good without makeup. Okay, that's not the question. The question is directly it, it, Does that count as beauty to you or is that something well, completely I was get different? There, but, oh my fault. Yeah, but for me, beauty, yeah, I still count it as beauty. I just think like, yeah, maybe it's a little it's a it's just a fixer upper, right? The makeup a notch is, below, right? Yeah, like I, I feel it's I feel like natural beauty is a little higher than makeup beauty. No, it is very much so, but I still think that be, uh, makeup is still beauty. I don't. You feel me? I don't take nothing. I don't take nothing from it. I don't take nothing I, I from agree. it. I don't take anything. Away I don't take nothing away from it. So that's well, why you, I, I think makeup is beautiful, yeah. and the art work and the skill and mm-hmm. the, the the artistry that it takes to do good makeup yeah. is also very impressive and uh, something to admire or mm-hmm. something like that. Right. Like I, I'm impressed by it and I respect it. Okay. But I, th- I would put that in a different category. For me personally, I really like... For, honestly, the women in my life that I've been attracted to the most are mostly just natural. Beauty. They don't really wear a lot of makeup. They might do a little eye thing. They might do the eyebrows, make them a little more pop up. Yeah, no, they're going to an event or something like that. And if they're going to an event, they might throw, they, they might, they up. might not, but it might just be the no, regular light, eye shit and some and foundation or some. Maybe, oh, I, I, maybe I don't even know the maybe names a big of event, stuff. but like yeah. a regular event. That, that usually, I've yeah. had a couple that it takes an hour and a half to get ready to go to the grocery store. Yeah, and I don't like that lifestyle com- in comparison. I mean, they look good. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, but it's a little excessive. Right. But uh, it was too much for me. How do you guys feel about the the whole makeup thing? It's good. Uh, guys talk about makeup. We could do this. Yeah, of course. New um, world. There's nothing wrong. We could talk about whatever the fuck we want to talk there's about. There's nothing wrong with makeup. I just feel it shouldn't be like your your go to or all. your default. Like yeah. um I feel that as long as you are hydrating and drinking water and doing you know, your yeah. moisturizing and stuff like that. But that, I want to match with my fits. I'm trying to put the colors on and No, no, I'm just saying I'm just saying like like, like like you said, smoky it, eye. I like the girls who are more cat eye. I like when I was um, out there and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I liked women who uh, were more natural, naturally beauty ones that didn't rely some didn't really rely on makeup ultimately. And um, it, it's just an added bonus if they happen to put some on, but it's not like they need to in order to step out. Like you said, they can go to the, they can run to the store yeah. and do nothing to their face because mm-hmm. they're just pretty. Also, the women that we mentioned too; those women don't need makeup. They look just as good without makeup. What woman did we mention? I'm sorry. Beyonce, Kelly Rowland. Oh uh, yeah, Beyonce is Beyonce looks good. Without makeup, without these makeup. women look fine. Kelly Rowland looks perfectly. Kelly Rowland is very attractive. Yeah, without makeup too. With that, she's pretty good natural. I see. So, she looks pr- pretty much. The that's same. what I'm saying. Even like in, in like, it's hard. It's hard to to. I mean, this is this is also very also very subjective too. Like. True. We all have our personal biases, biases when we you, when it comes to uh, beauty. Anyway, I mean, there's a standard for beauty, but then there's also as long as long as you're as long as you're you know doing your all the natural, regular, keeping yourself clean, face clean. I feel you don't need to really super go hard with the makeup, but I respect Facts. the people that 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 enjoy it and go hard with it. So, yeah. would you be able to date a shorty um, that was like, yeah, I don't even like to go out without putting my face on? Are you crazy? Uh, I've had, I've had, I've, I know a couple of. Them. I'm saying I'm not taking away the fact that she might be a natural beauty. None of that. Oh, no, I'm just saying she she's just like, yo, this is, yo, are yeah, you crazy? It's, it's like, I like to do a thing every day. It's a yeah. Wednesday. I got to do the she, Wednesday if she, shit. If she, if she wants to, then I would just say that as long as she, ha- is, as long as she's done by the time we have to leave, as long as it doesn't make yeah, us late, man, as long. she can do whatever she wants. Facts. I don't really care. What's up? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Well, makeup. Do you think makeup is a cultural it, thing? Is the question? A lot of the times it is. So is I, that, what do you, I, when you no, say when you, when you ask that question, what do you mean? Like black women wear less makeup, white women wear more makeup, no. or like I don't. I, I, like, I think all women say, wear makeup. And Southern women wear more makeup than northern yeah, women. Yeah, like I don't think there's any kind of like ethnic kind of breakdown of, of the percentage of how many how, what percentage of this type of women wear makeup more or less. 
I just think that there's women just in general who like wearing makeup and other ones who prefer not to wear makeup as much. So, like, I don't think it really spans across. I think it's just in general with women across the board. Mm -hmm. just, so, like, just like guys in haircuts. In, agree I think in agreement, guys, though. No matter what ethnicity you like, you like getting it. I think most of them like getting haircuts. And You clean. equate hair haircuts to makeup? For guys, yeah. For real? Yeah. Well, you're not like doing so, so. Then, what's women's haircuts? What is that? To, what's the, what's the, what's no, the, what do you mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, so women also have to maintain their hair. Okay. What, are the, what do you call it? How, what's the equivalency for men for that? I don't know. I guess it, if they can get haircuts for that, so what's yeah, nails? Like you know what I mean? They have a lot I mean, of they, luxuries they, they, that they they they, they, yeah, they they do a lot. They do a lot more when it comes to manicuring to make them. When it comes to their beauty, like yeah, to to that's, to wanting that's to, one of their main to outwardly show their beauty. So yeah, that's one of their main I, things. I, I, I don't think there's gonna be too many comparables. They do a lot more than us. So um, shout out to them. <laughs> do they even like? That's the question I always wanted to ask too. Like they always used to say, "I do this for me. I do this for me. I do this for me." Do they really do this for us? They, uh, I think they do it for them. I think I, I think we're, we I think don't we're a even, part of it. Because yeah. honestly, yeah. I really do believe they do it for them because most of the shit niggas do not give a fuck about. I mean, how are you getting? Do you, you care get, about how what your what nails your girls have, what color they have, what shape it is, like no. what I new mean, shit I, I, you put on there? Do you care? I do. I care. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I don't not not care. I care, <laughs> but. It's not like I mean I'm never having an opinion like yo I'm yeah. never like tight at a color or something like that. Uh, I'm like oh that's cool, yeah. that's nice. That looks very nice. I'll be tight at colors. Uh, what, so, what, what colors don't you like? I mean it, it if it's some you know some shit that's ugly like an ugly color. Like what? Not not every nail color is fire. Like what's some ugly you know, nail like colors? You know, like some neon I think pink. It's, I think it's so all trash. according to the skin tone and all that. Oh so. yeah, but in the time of the year. Yeah. There's some there's some color tones that are not good. Do you like? I those, mean, I've heard women like complain those, themselves. Do you like those long, those long Shop flat joints? edged? Oh, the flat joints. The flat edged uh, yeah. nails that women. No, wear. no, no, no. Oh, the sharp like joints. Like no, the I like sharp, them sharp like little, the sharp? like them pencil kind of like nails. Um, the, like the witch joints. Nah, not like witch. But short. Just, yeah, they're like short. Short and sharp. Yeah, it's like nice and short mm. and sharp. They scratch real good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you gotta take that. And they can scratch you because it's there's not all fake. Some of it it's real, you know? So they have a little Do you like do you, you like, like girls that have nails? G. I mean, you know, do sometimes you, they can. Why not? Bleak, Bleak, you uh do you prefer your woman to be more aggressive and rough with you uh, when you're intimate? That's that just depends on the day of the week. Okay. Is it customary <laughs> or normal for you to uh for a woman to draw blood while having intercourse with you? It's not normal, but okay. it happens often. Okay. So like 30% of the time? Mm. Give or take? Give or take. Okay. I mean, more, just check out give, his content. More give than yeah, take? Gotta take the <laughs> more give than take? Or? Yeah, yeah. More, more take. Oh, more take. Okay. Yeah. So on the lesser side. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's interesting. Um, you like so your, uh, you would uh, like G. him to have a sharper nails because that's something you're into. Yeah, man. And the tools. Do you like your girls that have nails? Uh, yes. I like ladies? To, I am... I'm used to human beings having nails, so I would also like the the female counterpart. No, I'm saying they have like long have nails. nails. I mean, yeah, long nails. I don't prefer it because I think they're not functional mm -hmm. and not, you know, practical. But you know, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes if you do it right and nice, appropriate length, it does look fantastic. It does. It looks really nice. That little design they do on them. Like I said earlier, I can appreciate the artistry. It's just you know the it. cost and. How they're not, they're very fragile. I don't know if it's the right choice every time, but hey, I'm a man, so I don't understand these things. They break things. a lot. Girls' nails break all the time. But I know they don't do it for us because, to be honest, I'll let you know once again. I know you probably heard this before. We don't give a shit. I no, like your nails to be clean. You know, hey, I like the colors, you know. I'm simple. You know, the white joints or the little French tips, that's, I like that. You gotta like a girl that keeps after herself, bro. Come on. I, I, I'm, I'm all for keeping yourself up. Yeah. I'm just saying, I don't. When it gets crazy, have fun, have a ball. 
You're paying. You're a grown woman. You're paying for your nails. If I'm paying for your nails and they're 170 dollars every time, like yeah. this is crazy. Come on, every two three weeks is 170 dollars out of nowhere for some nails. Yeah. Just because you have your shit has a cell phone in it or some shit, like what the fuck is going on here? You sound like a broke dude. Oh, just say you're broke then. I mean, I right. said I said you, got... I said you sound like you're a broke dude. You, <laughs> you ain't you ain't you ain't willing to pay 170 dollars every couple of weeks for your girl's nails. So the fuck you gotta is... go to a nail like, technician. So hold on. May, are you are you may, you might not be ready to have a girl. Mm, you might be playing the wrong game. Yo, know, my nigga, you have. Uh, almost three hundred fifty dollars in nail uh, budget for the month for your shorty. And that's what my shorty wants. <laughs> gotta work hard. <laughs> gotta work hard. Gotta get these nails done. These toes. This hair. Yeah, my shorty gotta get nails done this week, yo. <sighs> Working on a river. Damn, you a simp? So yeah, if you man. if you if you have to work hard to to pay for is your girl's nails, you a simp? Is she also paying for your luxuries? I dig. Probably not. Okay, you're paying for your own luxuries. Of course. You a man's man. Uh, you're a man's man. You agree with that. So you yeah. pay for everything. Yeah, yeah. She pays it. for nothing. Y no me puede decir nada. She can't tell me nothing. You heard? I get home. Whatever time I get home, I do what the fuck I want. I pay for everything. That's what that comes with. I agree that that's what it should come with. But that's is that, that a reality with. that that's the reality we, we of see it. today? Trust me. In today's landscape. That's why men did it. That's why they world. did it 20 years ago, and that's what they're doing it today for that reason. <laughs> So do you think the modern do you think the do you think the modern woman agree? Please stop destroying us. What do you think the modern woman agrees with your sentiments? Of course they don't, because now they're all about them. They're climbing up the charts, so they're the independent women. So they're climbing up the charts like Drake. Yeah. Cardi B's number one. Let's, uh, go. You see? let's go, Cardi. Uh, uh, she's going up. 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 If it's up, then well, it's what's up. gonna happen now, they're just gonna get a little then taste up. of what we had to go through. The women, so, yeah. What did we have to go through, Bleak? I'm, Since I'm we had very... to pay for everything, right? And we had to hold it down. And then they, now they're the ones making the most, the more bread, and they want to go out of work. And that, you know, men are staying home to be a stay at home dad. So would you would, would you up. be a stay at home dad with everything paid for? Yes, she's Why making not? buku buck, buku buckaroos. buck, and I'm at the crib taking care of my kids, taking care of my house and my kids. I'll she's do it. Big buku buckaroonies, and all you have to do is stay home and take care of the kids in the house. Yeah, you yeah, make, yeah, you maintain know, the crib house. and shit. Yeah, that's yeah. You make your own money at home. Could you be? Work could you live happily like yeah. that? As a man? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm still king of the castle. It's still yeah, my but house. You can't really my go house. nowhere because you got to take care of the kids. It's my house. You got to take care of the kids. Home. I mean, if I was working, I couldn't go nowhere. I'd be working. Yeah. Yeah, but you could also go on business trips I'm, and I'm do shit like that. I'm at the crib with the kids. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah, and if I crib. need to go out, I pay a babysitter. That's the point I'm trying to make. While the kids are at work, while the kids are at school, what I'm doing me. There you go. Uh, okay. For, there so you go. From from ten to fucking two, you're no, doing. No, from your... like six. When do they start going to school? What eight, 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 eight to two. They, yeah. So that means you got to be on me. the road by six thirty-seven, probably, to get shit right. Cool. That's normal. And then you got to pick them up at three. So Bet. fire. You got to be on the road at like yeah, two. Yeah, I got I got I got like six hours to do me yeah. each day. Are you doing the math right? If I drop them you off, you really at seven, have like five hours. If I drop them off, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 11, mm. 12, 1, 2, 3. That's eight hours right there. I said six. Yeah. We chilling. Do whatever we want. I mean, do a little affiliate dad, marketing. Six hours in the middle Sell of the some day. Stocks. What you doing? You can't a get twisted. day trading. Well, all right. Yeah. I if I was working, I couldn't get twisted neither. Like, what are you what talking you? about? You never get, so you never get twisted at work before? Huh? She's not going to disrespect you. She's going to not respect you. She's going to treat you. She's nah, women respect. She might not respect me. Because you make less money than her. Nah, bro. Yo, that's not how women run. That's us. Y'all gotta, y'all get these women. I feel bad yeah. for y'all that get these women. I don't have no, make I don't feel know. bad yeah, for... Yeah, disrespect y'all. I don't, I don't live house. this life. I don't live yeah. that life. I don't live this life. Yeah. yeah. I don't live this life. No, 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 no. I'm sure can make 20 times more than me. My woman, yeah, my woman respects me. Huh? My woman respects me. It's different. Another breakup. More breakups. Breakup? This one, legendary breakup. This legendary breakup. Legendary, breakup. legendary YouTube breakup. What? Derek Jackson. Derek. Oh, but they didn't break up. Oh, the, oh, I'm sorry. Another cheating scandal. Yeah. Cheating scandal rocking the interwebs. Con yes. artist. Who? A YouTuber. Iconic scandal. Iconic con artist shit. The, the almighty holy and holier than thou and righteous Derek Jackson has sinned. Dun, dun, dun. 
Dios. He has fallen short. He too mm -hmm. is human. He is not the perfect man. He has, ruined, he has ruined the saying, black men don't cheat. He ruined so it. maybe we don't consider him a black man for right now. He's out. Until he gets right. He's out of the door. He's outside. Yeah, he was, he, uh, He's outside of the community now for his egregious acts. I saw a woman expose them. I've heard multiple or, uh, women have come forward saying that they have had relations or are, or were having relations with Derek Jackson. Ratrero ass nigga. Uh, what does that mean? Dominican word of the day. Dominican Bonus word, word of the Ratrero. day. Ratrero, sin vergüenza. The traitor? Chalatan. Uh, a fake. A fake, a fraud. <laughs> terrible bad. person. To yeah, go out there and do that to Derek his wife. Jackson, yo, you need terrible to do better, person. yo. Do better. It's a terrible person for that. And then you see him holding his hands, holding her hand. Yeah, he held Like, that was like the universal. So hold on, you gotta give the context. Like, so he gave an uh, apology. First, Awful. he gave a, a bullshit. Uh, response like he was like selling his book or some shit. I don't know what he's he was like. Doing. Yeah, he's like, I did not have any sexual relationships with her. And check out my book. This is what I was talking about in my book. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then he had to really fess, and he had his wife with him. And a lot of people said they were trying to read the body language. They said it didn't seem uh, like she was. She wanted to be there, or you know, she almost looked like you know, like someone that was a hostage. It was like a hostage situation. It looked like a hostage situation to too, me. As well. Just the way he was holding her, that that should have been like a a universal thing. Like people, he was moving around. Should understand. Like, he was not calm like he normally is. Yeah, his, his movements were not fluid. Yeah, he was. He, they were not. Did you uh, notice that his move, his movements were a little? Uh, uh, what's the word? They weren't undulating. Yeah, correctly. Yeah. Yo, I am smacked. I think I, I mean, smoked a lot of bud today. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm very high. No, but uh, Derek Derek Jackson, he wild out. He's been pumping a message and not living this truth. And he got exposed. <laughs> and got exposed. And, and he's living with the consequences. Who knows if his uh, career, if he's going to be able to still be. Because he, he was making some bold claims. Like, yo, if you cheated, if he got if he got <laughs> caught cheating, he uh, he was actually cheating way more times than when before you got caught. Before he got caught. So don't even believe him. He was like, what he was you on some no tolerance. Yeah, zero, zero tolerance. tolerance for cheating. He was like. If a nigga's cheating, then he don't need to be with that woman. Go give it, let her be with a nigga that can respect her. Wow. I'm fucking. Wow. I mean, be with her. Wow. He was probably on the way every time. Because he done them in the car, right? He was shooting these videos in the car. A lot of them shit he did in the exactly. car. Exactly. So Bleak. He, he was on his way. Bleak, do you think it's natural for uh, uh, a man to be with one woman? If I think it's natural? What do you mean by natural? Do you think it's normal for a man, man to be with one woman? I'm not saying if it's normal, if it's natural, but I think it's possible. Do you think it should be? I think it's possible. Do you think it should be? I think it's possible for a person to commit to something they said that they was gonna say they do. You know, they they're gonna do. Okay, but do you think it should be the the standard that men should have one woman? I think. I think any man should just make his own choice. If he could be with more than right, one so you're woman, not answer wait, the let question. me listen. I'm gonna answer. If one man can think he can be with more than one woman, then he can go ahead and try. He can take it. I feel like we all have tried. Some of us have failed. Some of us have gotten further than others. And to those, I tip my hat off. I hear all that, and all that sounds but, fire. But my question is, do that's you, my Bleak, Pablo, yeah, DJ Wavy Seal, think? <laughs> It's normal for a man to have one woman. Okay, how about this? I've tried before and it didn't work. So. So you think that was? So it wasn't so for you me. Think it wasn't normal. It was. It, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do two women at once. I couldn't. I refuse to answer the question. I'm telling you, I can't do it because I tried Crump. and I can't do I think, it. I think, That's not answering the question. That's not answering. Think, not at all. Not I even a little the, bit. I can't speak for I think myself. The majority of men couldn't hand. So you're also not going to answer the well, question. You, you asked me, do I think it's normal? I think I think the answer is no, because I think the majority of men... Do you think it's men... normal for a man to have one woman? That's the question. Do you think, do I think it's I normal see... for a man? Yeah, I think it's normal for a man to have one woman. I think that's normal. Okay, so that's yeah. not even that. That right. wasn't actually Bad. the actual question. I mean, that's I fucked up. Wait, how you fucked up? Let me let me rephrase no, how you it. fucked up now? Let me. The, 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 the original question is the original question is the original question is is it natural for a man? Is it natural for a man to have one woman? That's the question. I think it's I think it's I think it's natural for the majority to have one woman. 
it's natural for yeah. the it's natural for the majority. Natural yeah. is just is or it isn't. Natural. Yeah, I think for the majority of men, their natural desire is to just have one woman. And bleak natural? You guys, why are you asking answered, bleak again? Yeah, I already answered time. it, my so, guy. Uh, for it's clean. Natural? I think that every man should choose what he can can do. I so I told you already, I tried. I tried it and I didn't didn't work out for me. Yeah, what what about so, what about you, G? I don't think it's normal for a man to have more than one woman. What about you, G? You think it's not normal? Yeah, I don't think it's normal, normal based on my experiences, yeah. All right. Okay. How about you? Um <clears throat> So what else happened in the news today? Oh my god. Huh? So we just no, what what do you think? You think it's normal? Uh I uh, see. We got to be very careful with the words that we use. Oh, the, the words that you use. The, the, the words that I use. I, I told yeah. you I fucked up. Like originally, I said natural, and then I said normal. Normal. Probably natural. it is normal because that's the the way society wants it. You're supposed to be. Oh my god. Uh, have one woman, so that's what you you know as, ascribe to be. You aspire to be. Aspire <laughs> to have a strong one woman. Okay. A monogamous, all right, or one person uh, relationship. So okay. I think it's natural. I mean, clearly by urges and the way uh, we are set up biologically. I don't know if it is as natural as we've been socialized to accept. What do you guys feel about that? I don't know what you're talking about. You sound so grim. Yeah, yeah. What are you bring some uh, life into what you're yeah, saying? What are you saying? Speak it with your chest. You scared to say what you're saying? I feel like it sounds way better when I talk like this. Like, okay. Like, later nah. on, it's it does. It sounds you're mad, animated with other stuff. <laughs> no, I'm saying like it sounds better. Like, All right, so say it again. <laughs> Do you feel like I dry, drained the life out of it just now? That's crazy. I felt like I said that fire just now. So then we'll keep it. We'll listen it back. We'll listen back to it. We'll keep but it. But anyway, basically yeah. what I just said was... Yeah. Um, damn, what were we talking about? Y'all niggas are going to be tight. Is it normal for a man to have one woman? Oh, I feel like oh, the way that we're set up biologically, I don't think it's as natural. Is it normal? Yeah. We've been socialized this is the way it's supposed to be so yeah it's normal to have one partner one woman but is it natural is it like instinctual is it the way our biological uh uh makeup is is this what we want i don't know society i don't know yeah no it's it's <clears throat> men it's can smash topic. fucking what 10 times a day get 10 women pregnant a day a woman could be pregnant one time a year. Nah, twice a year, but only have one baby a year unless she has, you know, multiples. Yeah, it's interesting. So, well, do even you, like biologically, are we even set up to be like that? Or am I bugging? I don't know. At that point, it's natural selection. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's different. Society definitely shapes us differently. Yeah, well, so. I mean, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Mm. We're, we're uh, more than just, you know, instinctual beings. So. Yes. We I mean, I we have to, to fit into yes. all the way that yes, we are. society so, I mean, yes. has made us. But in the, in the end, it is all about instinct. It's just survival. Mm. That's why, you know, everything can be brought back down, broken back down to that. It's the common. You don't think so? I think, I think it's very, very interesting. Oh, so you don't, so you don't agree? I'm not saying I don't agree. You're not saying anything. I'm not saying I, I think it's very interesting. I'm 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 listening to you. I think sometimes niggas do themselves dirty by not just saying like how they want to move in the relationship. <laughs> what? <laughs> this nigga will like what? yo. All they gotta do is say how they want to move. Like that's all they gotta say. Like yo, I'm about to fuck wild bitches. Like you know what I mean? Who, who are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, niggas should say, like, on the walk into the relationship, how they're going to wiggle with it. Like, yo, I'm about to fuck wild jumps. And shorty be like, yo, oh, okay, I'll fuck with that. And then now there's no beef. Everything is, <laughs> everything is Gucci. Yeah. Right? I mean... Or, like, I'm going to fuck three extra joints a year. I mean, those dudes that want to do that should do that. I'm saying, like, niggas should do that. Huh? 
I'm saying like niggas should do that because Why you they're getting themselves in trouble by saying, yo, I'm never going to fuck with nobody else. <laughs> I'm never going to cheat. Is that what you're on? I'm a godly nigga. Yeah. And then they're fucking mad bitches. Is that what you're on? Is that what I'm on? What do you mean? Like, is that how you think we should move? No, no, I'm, I'm just saying, be, be honestly, yes. I think we should move with honesty. Uh -huh. Yes. You think the majority of dudes are, are, are trying to do that? or should? I think that? the majority of the dudes want to fuck multiple joints other than their joint, or at least another joint other than their joint, uh -huh. and they say that they'll never do it, but then they'll do it anyway, or think about doing it. I think a lot of dudes are like that, are in that boat, in the same boat as you say. I stay boat. far away from those dudes. They're, like Derek Jackson. Because you're super straight. Faithful, super straight. That's Classic, how he did it. traditional, super straight. That's how he did it. Really? Right? Do what do you think about my bold claim that most men would like, like at Jackson. least another piece of vagina besides their uh, their primary vagina? I'm sure, man. I'm A sure. Secondary vagina, if you will. Yeah, I'm sure. Secondary vag. I'm sure, but they don't. It's not easy to execute. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't think it's as hard as you. I feel like with honesty and openness, be, I feel like you, it's you not. You'd be surprised. I think you'd be surprised. You've you had have success. success with that. What, what do you mean? You said you don't think it's that hard. Yeah. I don't think it's. I said I, said I don't think you, it's, with I, that? I said I don't think it's as hard as you would think. Have well, I had I'm, success? I'm asking you. Have I had success? Have I had success with multiple vaginas at once? Like, yeah, that you yes. had a main joint and you were able to successfully have a second joint on the side and maintain both. Oh, uh, no, but see, I wouldn't do it on the side. Like, they know. I mean, but what's that's happening. the. Wasn't that the thing that you were saying that it wanted to. I'm saying, you said. He said I, he think it'd be hard. Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't automatically that, uh, that they don't know. I'm saying open, being open and honest and saying that I want to fuck more joints so they would know. Um, I mean, I got something. I got something. Fire. Relationship or shit, right? Okay. Fire. No, I'm serious. And this is like, I'm sure this is common in everybody's relationship. Why, what is the problem by calling your partner by their first name? That means you're beefing. Like after, because you know after like three, four months, the bait funny. thing starts, right? You're when beefing, does the bait thing start? You're beefing or you're being funny? If you don't have a pet name or baby Ooh. honey, whatever it is, like babe, you know, whatever it is. I mean, then you're being funny because you're only going to say her name when it's beef. Really? Or she's going to say your name when it's beef. Yeah. Or like, really? like or so, or they're being funny. Like, everything okay? Yes, everything is okay. Reginald, Jay, Wilcox. Like, damn, bitch. <laughs> the fuck? Just in here saying my Samantha. name. Samantha. You got a fucking wire on? Like, <laughs> a fucking wire. The fuck is going on in here? Seriously? Yes, I'm okay, Michael. Like, huh? You talking to me like my fucking teachers, or like like a or like roll call? No. Roll call. Roll roll call. Roll call. Never been through. Listen, I don't know what the fuck is the big deal. You know, Seriously, what is the big deal? Because after when does the bay thing start? When does it? When is it like the initial? When do you start calling your other bay? Some niggas is thirst. That bay shit starts immediately. Starts immediately, like what? Three months? Two months? No, no, of meeting them. <laughs> like. I like, <laughs> never learned your name. I just, I've always called you Bay. I've always called you Bay. I think that's somebody you're not truly trying to get to know, honestly. Nah, I just loved her before I met her. That's what the nigga will say. I fell in love with the image of her. I knew that I'd love her before I met her. Wow. Oh, like today, I'm gonna fall in love with the, the whatever bitch. Hmm. And she pulled up. Yeah, Azalea Banks, man. Azalea Banks be saying some crazy shit. What's she saying now? You want to read it? You can read it. <laughs> so give him a setup. Give him a setup. So Azalea Banks has something to say. <clears throat> Azalea Banks has something to say about Lizzo. This isn't us. This is Azalea Banks. Of course, we're going to give our two cents about what Azalea Banks said about Lizzo. Right. But we weren't directly going to speak about Lizzo. It just happened right. to be... Someone asked us to take a look at this. Billy's happy though. Okay. <laughs> so this is Azalea Banks. There's a picture of Lizzo here. Do we, we can pick the, <clears throat> put the picture up if you want to. I think pretty sure she. Uh, I mean, she put this out, so she's pretty. I'm pretty sure she's proud of it. Um. 
Who in Lizzo's PR team keeps telling her to put the focus on the fact that she is overweight instead of focusing on the fact that she has a working knowledge of music theory, an extremely underrated and valuable part of music sh- music sh- <clears throat> musicianship? An extremely and underrated and valuable part of musicianship? I don't think Lizzo understands how much we literally don't care that she is fat. Plenty of fat singers in the world not reminding us that they are fat. I really don't get it. Jill Scott never had to do this. We are waiting for her Stevie Wonder harmonica solo. Get the flute, sis. We don't want this black Tracy Turnblad stunt you're trying to pull. But thanks for promoting luxury by Azalea Banks to your large platform, sis. And when I say large, I mean large. Large. It all, it's all caps for the last large. 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 Huge. 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 Hmm. Huge. Azalea Banks usually goes that? harder than this. That was nice. That was like I was tame clean. for Azalea? Yeah, that was clean. I mean, maybe because she was... Uh, but she she speak, wasn't really trying to hate. Because it wasn't, it wasn't Cardi B, so... <laughs> was, this, was she speaking truth? I think her truth, yeah. But I get what she's trying to say. It is could be a little exaggerating. Yeah, you think you think Lizzo is marketing her? Uh, she's obesity? marketing herself. Not. <laughs> I don't know if I, I'll say that. But. Is, that, is that a selling point? So hold on, we can't say that she's obese. If she's clearly obese. You can see it. I mean, yeah, if you want to say that. Hold on, do we have to look up the definition for obese? Is that the problem? Do you not no, know what obese means. I know exactly what. So she is she obese? Yes or no? Is she? Was she? Did she say that? About is Lizzo herself? obese? Yes or no? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Okay. She is. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> is she marketing? Is she is one of her selling points the fact that she's obese? That wait, you saying that that's her selling point? I'm asking you. That's do you think that? Her, do you think that is that, is that part she, of her brand? Well, I think she's I think led us to believe that. Yes. Yeah, she's led to believe us. She's led us to believe that. She's led to believe. Oh, she's, she's led, led us, us to believe that that it's part of her marketing. Yes. Okay, so you you do think it's part of? Her yes, marketing. I do okay. think it's part of her marketing. Crump, you said yes. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I think she's not fighting it at all. She, you know what? She has. She does say. She does Do you say think shit. She leans into it. Of course, she definitely leans into it. All right. Because anytime she does anything that's a little over the line, she's yeah. like, "Oh, if I wasn't fat, like, all right." <laughs> I heard. I heard she got scooped by <laughs> Prince. I heard she got scooped by Prince because she's from Minnesota, Minneapolis, I think. But uh, for being mad talented at mad different instruments from young. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, That's amazing. You think, super good at, at you musicianship. Think, you think yeah. Prince uh, scooped her because she could twerk? No. She might have been really young. What about her fashion sense? No. Mm-mm. I think for the musical sense. Yeah. I think That's so. what I think. I think so. Are you here for her uh, her uh, TikToks? She's in bathing suits? Uh, I don't follow no, her. but I'm not on TikTok. I don't follow her. So Why do you think it's uh, it's uh, a Chinese spyware? What? TikTok. Do you think it's... Oh, no. I just don't have it. I'm just, I'm just not cool. Okay. Do you have TikTok? I have TikTok. Is DJ Wavy Seal on TikTok? Oh, yeah. DJ Wavy what's Seal. Your, what's, your, what's your name on TikTok? DJ Wavy Seal at slash TikTok. That's it. So I read this meme. Huh, you know me. I got to get my memes up. Bro, a single man over 30 is a big red flag, especially with no kids. A red flag in what sense? A red flag. I don't know. Just a red flag. Especially with no kids. There you go, left. What y'all think? You see the conditioning that's going on right now? So now a man in his 30s with no kids is a red flag. You don't Do you want to get me. That? You don't want to get me started on shit like this. I mean, I'm asking. Do you agree with that? I don't agree with that. Right? That sounds. That's blasphemy. That's not that that uh that mindset sounds absolutely insane. Whoever's saying that sounds insane. Right? Yeah. Because um, a man over thirty, single, single. Okay, uh, okay, I can understand how you're starting and now you're paying attention. Single? How are you single? Thirty, but wait, that's a problem. Being single in your thirties? No, it's not a problem. But that's a red flag. You just said that. I didn't say it was a red flag. But you questioned it. 
No I'm saying like now I can look I, I look a little deeper like okay well I'm single. All right. Okay. You think it's you, yeah, you think it's normal to be single at 30? I think it's more than normal to be single in your 30s. Most people are still in school in their 30s. A lot of people are still in school in their 30s. I mean, a lot of people are single now, but mm-hmm. I don't think that's their, like, that wouldn't be their choice. You sure? If they're single, it's not voluntary. It's not because they don't want, they want to be single. Yeah. They're single because they, they don't, they can't get the ones that they want. No, no, no. That's... I mean, that's you know that varies, but I'm just saying, like, 30 years old, I would expect them to have some sort of like boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever that is, like, buddy, FWB. Yeah. So if you are in a relationship through your high school, right? You do the whole high school sweetheart, and then half of your 20s, and then you break up with this person. You basically just enter your thirties after like a ten year relationship. Yeah, I mean it's it possible failed. to be but single just, no, at any time. Exactly. I'm just so, saying. I don't think that it's that I felt crazy. Like the chances would be like through your thirties. I say the ten year stretch of your thirties. What is that? Yeah. Nine, ten year stretch of thirties. You would be more than not with somebody when, or what, attached to when somebody. Should, when should you be married <clears> by? What age should you be married by, G? I feel like that's all about where you live and where you and live your me- and your means. How long does it take for you to know if you want to marry somebody? How long should it take a man uh, to know if he wants to marry somebody? Well, first, you got to know if you're a man that wants to get married. But once you know that you want to get married and your shit is together or good together enough, it shouldn't take long. What do you mean? Like, what's the quickest for a nigga to get married? No, you should... Maybe it does, they don't get married in that amount. Or how of time, long to know that you want to get yeah, married? Yeah, to, to this person. I don't know. I feel like three months. You should be like you should be on the road to like. All right, wait a minute. So if you're going this out, it's different. Months, like three anything months. longer than three months, you should be thinking about marriage. I mean, I feel like if you're in the marriage mindset, you're always thinking about marriage. Oh, you think that this person could be is worth continuing? Yeah, you're not even gonna get to three months if they're not even marriage. Because if you're yeah. looking, if you're wanting to get married. You're always thinking about getting married, and if this person, you know, you don't want to waste time. Do you think women today want to get married? Yes. I think everybody wants to get, well, I think a lot of people want to get, most people want to get married, especially where, you know, where we live at. Most people want to get married. You got to fix that a little bit, my bad. What do you think? So I think most people. Want, I don't know if I don't know if most people want to get married now. I think. Uh, well, I guess if it's fifty-one percent, I think a majority of people want to get married, but I think it's a lot less than it, it used to be. I think people don't want to get married nowadays like that. I think people are happy just you know. I know people are taking way longer to get married nowadays. People used to get married young. Now everyone's getting married in their thirties, late thir- mid late, mid to late thirties. Yeah, but I just don't think people just want to be married, especially for the reasons why you hear people breaking up or uh, like the the somewhat fickle, somewhat seeming fickle reasons why they might like dead a person. It just seems like uh, you know, it's just uh, what you call it, uh, foolishness. Like uh, yeah, like you're not really t- you, uh, you, like frivolous, you gotta, frivolous. You know that there's a give and take, and you know you're not perfect. Yeah, the give and take is what we're missing nowadays. A lot. The relationships. It's a lot of just take, take, take. And not enough give, right? Yeah. Uh, we got to get some, uh, we got to get a guest on. We got to talk about some um, some male, female, interpersonal shit because I've been, uh, I've been hearing a lot of chatter. About what? About certain topics. In, talk in, to me, talk to me, talk to no, me. No, it's like. Let it's, me get a beer too. <laughs> <laughs> um. Like, a lot of topics, it's like, and the money thing keeps coming up because I feel like it's a crazy double standard or, like, just a hypocrisy that women say to men about a real man should pay for everything. And a woman should do whatever she wants with her money, but we're in a relationship. But then at the same point in time, like, you're not property and I don't own you and I do whatever I want to. Yeah. So then how am I just taking wild L's? What's the point of being in uh-huh. a relationship? What's the point of getting married? Yeah, there's I mean, no compromise. If it's just L's. I don't think you should go after the girls that just want to If it's to just to L's. Yeah, like, that don't make sense to me. That makes sense to you? I think the women 
We expect guys that pay for everything are mostly single. I don't think they really have uh, dudes like that. Hmm. The majority of them. Hmm. I think the majority of women that have dudes and get married and get relationships are ones that are have a little more down to earth understanding that yeah. in these times where they're able to work and, and make as much uh if not more than men that uh you know mm -hmm. yeah i feel that they should that like it's a it's a it's a it's a team effort and yeah, you know I, I can agree to that as long as that's your mindset i think you can find a dude yeah but i think the ones that are like he has to pay for everything and, and so on and so forth i think those are the ones that are mostly single <laughs> facts they can't find a man because they're not really, like, you know, realistic in their uh, efforts. True. I can see that. I can see that. This is true. Bleak? I mean, I agree with, with Crump. And to add to it, um, definitely there's some compromising. Huge compromising. That's, what, that's the biggest thing in a relationship, especially financials. So if you don't got somebody that can be in that level, then you're done, bro. You're setting yourself up for failure. You just keep attracting that same kind of energy. That you, same kind of woman. Oh, or yeah. man. But are we, like, from the jump, denying our nature and our instincts and lying just to fit into the box that society gives us that we're supposed to be in? Like, you're supposed to be. I think it's married, well, one I think person. it's like... I think I, I think like with, with Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. So I like mean, if you're just honest from the jump, you would have like three joints or like two joints or whatever. Like you go first. Are you just talking with women now or just in you general, talking about multiple, like whatever multiple works, partners like, or it's I mean it depends who everyone has a different setup. Some people don't have money to have like four joints. You could have maybe like one and a half. Yeah, I mean you need the money for that, but mm -hmm. I think it's, it's got to come from you. But right? if you have the money, it should be light. Yeah, if you got the money, it's you light. You should just say that from the jump, like, hey, man, okay. I mean, You're my main thing. I think it's just that's like, just if you want to have that and then that kind of relationship, then yeah, then you have to then go look for that. Women that are okay with that. Do you think a lot of women are okay with that kind of shit or no? Not really. I don't, I don't think know, so. Man, I just, I just that's what I'm saying. It has it worked for me. It's Shit. Just, it's just it's just urges. You, you, I don't act on all my urges. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, just because uh, you might want to be with another joint doesn't mean you should. Just because you want to steal that, that thing from the supermarket. So being with another joint is inherently evil because the comparison you made I mean, was no, 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 no. If you didn't go into it ahead of time saying that's what you want. It's like, should I get another fucking honey bun or whatever you like? Whatever that shit is. Because shit. I mean, if you I, if you I went love, into it ahead of time, at the end it, of my di dinner, I always have a cake, but damn, I want two cakes. So you gotta go get it. Fuck it. Yeah, man. Do it's you? It's wrong to have two cakes. Do you? It's just extra. No, nah, it just it's it's just I don't I it, it's more than just the 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 good times. I don't want to deal with the two times the bad time two times the yeah the all the other stuff. We like, done leveled up. That's it. Like. And I wouldn't want the joints out of with me just because I can support them. And they're dealing with the other joints. I think there's way more nuance to it. I feel like sure. if you're open and honest with it, it'll be a comfortable situation. They know what's going on. They get it. It's not beefy. They know they occupy their time with the shit they got to do. Okay. I don't know. But, yeah, I feel you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, another great episode. Yeah, I think so. We'll do better next time. Bro. We'll try to do better next time, of course. Mm -hmm. Thank we'll you for it. pulling up, rolling up, lighting up, keeping it blunt with us. Uh, episode 34. 34, baby. I had to look at uh, Bleak's uh, jersey. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, run, comment, Ricky, subscribe. run. Hit the notification bell. Help us grow the channel. Get right so I can get a Lambo. And we'll see you next week, guys. Yeah. Exchange. Cheat, cheat. <laughs>